Hi, it's Donna from redcarpetlearning.com, and today we are talking about the difference between an upset customer and an abusive one. I've had a couple of customers recently ask me a similar question, and that question is, how do we know when an upset customer has crossed the line into an abusive customer, and what do we do about that? You see, at Red Carpet Learning Systems, we teach a strategy for how to help an upset customer. And it starts with first very, very quickly taking care of your own emotions and realizing it's not they're upset, they're yelling at you is not about you. But then we teach treat upset customers to red carpet service. So the T in treat stands for tune in and listen without interruption. And then you respond at the appropriate time with empathy and regret. So I'm so sorry this is your experience. I understand why you feel this way. And rest assured, I'm going to help you in uh, every way that I have the power to help. And so typically in that situation, any reasonable person, if you have done this one, maybe two times, their emotions will de-escalate. So you can get to the point where you can do the next part of that process, which is explore solutions and come to some agreement about how to fix that issue and then add a little kindness and then thank the customer. However, there are a few customers, few and far between, who will not stop the yelling, who will uh, perhaps exhibit other behaviors, and no matter what you try to do and how you listen to them and try to help, they just won't stop. So some of those behaviors look like uh, people who you've, you've listened, you've express the desire to help and some regret and some empathy. You've maybe done this a couple of times and they continue to yell and maybe that yelling even gets louder and louder and louder. Or maybe they're swearing at you. Now, Every, most of us, if we are upset, uh, are not above having a nasty little word come out of our mouth occasionally. But if it's repeated, you know, if the, if it is persistent and they continue to use cuss words, and also if they are using offensive language in this way, if they are being sexist, if they are being racist, if they are being homophobic, if they are saying offensive things to you or about the people around you, uh, your coworkers, your other customers, uh, this has crossed the line into an abusive situation. And this is a whole other ball game because you can't get to a reasonable conversation where you can actually help this person if they are still in that emotional state and they are um, shouting directives at you and they are shouting cuss words at you. And so, the first step, again, is to remain calm. That you want to, you don't want to shout back at them. You don't want to cuss back at them. You don't want to yell racist remarks back at them. Um, you want to, think of this as, I want to be the calmest person in this room right now. This person out here is not calm. I'm going to be the calm one. And I'm going to be courteous and I'm going to be professional. Even if I have to be firm, I will be courteous and professional. Then interrupt their thought pattern. And you. my favorite way to do that is to use someone's name. Uh, and so it might be Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones. Uh, if you don't know their name, excuse me or pardon me. And then you move on to a statement like this. Mr. Jones, I understand that you are upset and rest assured I am here to help you. However, your continuous use of foul language is preventing that from happening. So I can help you now if you are willing to stop swearing or if you need a minute to calm down, I can help you later. Which would you prefer? And then see what you did there? You interrupted their thought pattern. You still expressed empathy and the desire to help. 
and then you stated the behavior that they were using that was preventing that from happening and then you gave them a choice what is it you want to do do you want to discuss this calmly and rationally now or do you want to take a few minutes to calm down and then we can discuss it later or you know, Mr. Jones, I can help you with this issue, but not if you continue to call me names. So would you be willing to stop calling me names so that I can help you and let them decide? In some cases, this will de-escalate de the, the, uh, the, the behavior. In some cases, it will not. And so at that point, it is time for you to escalate it to a manager or end the conversation. So, well, Mr. Jones, we certainly want to help you. So let me get a manager to see what they can do. And then you leave and go get a manager or you put them on hold and go get a manager. Or if you are have the ability on the phone to do this, you can simply end the conversation. Well, Mr. Jones, we certainly want to help you, but we're not going to get anywhere today. Please feel free to call me when you are ready to have a reasonable conversation, but right now I am going to end this call. And then you hang up and then go get your manager. Now, there's also threatening behavior. That is when a customer is get perhaps like they're getting too close, they're getting in your physical uh, space, they're getting in your face, they are um, pounding, they are throwing things. This is threatening and potentially harmful behavior, and we hope... I hope you never have to deal with that, but if you do, the uh, there is no reasoning with that person, and you immediately want to get a manager involved, and managers, please protect your team and protect your other customers. This customer is just not worth it. So. I would love to know from you, have you ever faced, not just an upset customer, we all have, but have you faced an abusive customer? And what was that behavior and what did you do and what was the result? Did it did it work? Did it not work? Um, I would just love to know. So please comment below. If this video was helpful, hit like, comment below and let me know. And of course, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have videos all the time. You can hit that little alarm button next to the subscribe button and we will uh, always remind you. You'll be reminded when we have a new video. And as always, we would love it if you would visit redcarpetlearning.com. And if we can help you engage your team to deliver service excellence, then please give us an email at stars at redcarpetlearning.com and we'll look forward to having our uh, conversation with you.